The municipal city of Jumila in the Musa region of Spain has been a center of the natural disasters, severe flooding caused by heavy rains, that hit the region in the early hours of the day. The storm hit the city suddenly, causing normally calm rivers to go their banks, turning the streets into raging torrents of dirty water. The rainfall that fell in just a few hours was well above average for the time of year, causing the spread flooding and relative danger and agricultural areas. Many homes were forced to walk away to escape the rapidly rising waters. Local authorities issued a request of the world and advised people not to leave their homes and visit the city, but many were able to form way the roads and aid to balance bridges and flooded highways. The situation was complicated by the fact that Jumalia's rain-drenching systems, not designed to hold such volumes of water, could not cope with the load, which was in the effects of the flooding. Numerous areas are well left without power supply, as all the substation were flooded, which hampered rescue operation and access to emergency services. Strong means that the company that rain caused additional destruction, turn off roads from houses, breaking trees and making it difficult to move along the roads. The city streets took into viewers in each castle. Furniture and other objects washed away by the torrents of water flooded. Some buildings, especially old buildings in the historic center, were on the walls of the lab due to wash out foundations. The water also broke through agricultural lands, causing enormous damage to local farmers whose crops were completely destroyed or flooded. <laughs> Local residents who have experienced similar natural disaster in the past admit the flooding of the scale came as a complete surprise to them. Many camped the current situation to the most devastating floods that occurred in the region decades ago. On the streets of the city, you can see rescue services at volunteers working no stop, trying to evacuate victims and providing them with first aid. The water not only flooded houses and streets, but also disrupted the work of the city hospital and schools, which were forced to close.
Emergency services, including fire bridges and civil defense units, were mobilized from neighboring Principality to help Jumilia. According to local authorities, several bus calls have been registered so far for citizens in need of rescue, and the number of such calls continue to grow. Despite all the efforts of rescue, many residents remain trapped in their homes or on roofs where they are waiting for help. Rescue efforts are complicated by the lack of communication in some areas, which make it possible to accurately determine the location of the victims. Experts work that this situation may work in the coming hours, as the weather forecast does not promise any improvement. Meteorologists report in the possibility of further showers and strong gusts of wind. In some parts of the region, the threat of landslides continues due to the eruption of slopes and mountain roads which increases the danger for the transport rights and residential areas located at the foot of the mountains. It for it is advised residents to remain safe and away for the instructions. Due to the closure of many roads and flooding of rural areas, the delivery of food, water and medicine due to the affected areas as a risk of failure. The flooding has become another reminder of how vulnerable which are to natural disasters.